This is a full-scale 3D printed replica of America's newest and smallest air-to-air -air missile, the AGR-20 Falco, also known as the Infrared Guided Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System 2, which is America's low-cost, high-volume answer to the low-cost kamikaze drones that are becoming increasingly common on today's battlefield. Now, the savvy among you may have already noticed that this weapon did not start out as a missile at all, and is instead based on the very cheap and common 70mm unguided Hydra rocket, an air-to-ground weapon employed by a variety of fighters and rotorcraft. But after the U.S. burned through dozens of high-priced AMRAMs and Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles on cheap and sluggish kamikaze drones in the Middle East last year, the DoD started looking for inexpensive off-the-shelf solutions, taking their existing 70mm rocket stockpile and simply adding a laser guidance kit, making it possible to use a fighter's onboard laser designator to target a drone and then take it out with this rocket by tying that guidance kit into its deployable control surfaces. But using a laser designator means engaging one target at a time. So last year, BAE Systems integrated a new infrared guidance suite housed in these deployable fins, giving these low-cost missiles fire and forget functionality. And this means adding a ton of anti-drone firepower to American fighters. Just a few weeks ago, an F-15E Strike Eagle was spotted flying with eight standard air-to-air -air missiles and an additional 42 of these infrared guided drone hunters under wing, with seven missiles housed in each of six pods. At an estimated price of only around 20 grand a piece, these missiles are roughly 50 times cheaper than a radar guided AMRAM and are even cheaper than reports for most long range kamikaze drones. And if you want to print your own replica, you can. Just check out Rexy Labs on Maker World to get the print files. Now, I spent around a hundred bucks on the right colors of PLA filament, and now I've got a ton of that left over. But you could just as easily print it in whatever colors you have around and then just spray paint it after. It took about two full days of printing with my Bamboo Labs P1S, so it makes for a pretty cool weekend project. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it alive.